The July Revolt of 1927 was a major riot starting on 15 July 1927 in the Austrian capital Vienna. It culminated in the firing by police forces into the outraged crowd, killing 84 protesters, while five policemen died. More than 600 people were injured. Events the clash was the result of conflict between the Social Democratic Party of Austria and a right-wing alliance including wealthy industrialists and the Catholic Church. Many paramilitary forces had been formed in Austria during the early 1920s, among them the Nationalist Front Kampfvereinigung Deutsch Osterreichs under Karl Hermann Hiltel and the Social Democratic Republican Isha Schutzbund. A clash between those groups during a gathering in Schattendorf, Bergenland on 30 January 1927 resulted in the death of a World War I veteran and an eight-year-old boy. Three front Kampfer were indicted in a Vienna court in July for shooting them from ambush. Defended by lawyer Walter Real pleading self-defense, they were however acquitted in a jury trial. This Schattendorf verdict led to a general strike which had the aim of bringing down the government headed by Christian Social Party Chancellor, Ignaz Seipel. Massive protests began on the morning of July 15, when a furious crowd tried to storm the main building of the Vienna University on the Ringstrasse. The protesters attacked and damaged a nearby police station and a newspaper building, before proceeding to the Austrian Parliament building. Forced back by police, they arrived in the square in front of the Palace of Justice. At about noon, protesters entered the building by smashing the windows. They then demolished the furnishings and began setting fire to files. Soon the building was ablaze, the fire spread out quickly as the Vienna Fire Brigade was attacked by several demonstrators who cut the hoses and so prevented its being brought under control until the early morning. The former Austrian Chancellor Johann Schober, then Vienna Chief of Police, suppressed the protests with force. He urged the Social Democratic Mayor Karl Seitz to call for the Austrian Armed Forces, which Seitz rejected, as did the Christian Social Party Defense Minister Karl Vorwan. In turn, Schober supplied the police troops with army rifles and publicly announced that the premises would be cleared by force. After Seitz and Schutzbund councillor Theodore Corner had vainly tried to persuade the crowd to surrender, the police opened fire, which resulted in 89 deaths. Remembrance A memorial to the victims was erected in the Vienna Central Friedhof. A plaque at the Palace of Justice was unveiled by President Heinz Fischer in 2007. Several artifacts such as singed court papers and Schutzbund and front camp for uniforms are on display at the Heeresgeschichtliches Museum.